Welcome back to Subsurface Circular. At the end of the last episode, we got reset by the two detectives. So, let's let's see what's going to happen. I'm really not sure what we're going to be saying to these people. I'm not sure what's left inside of us. Uh, so we have someone from infantry and a priest. Let's talk to the infantry person. Halt. Who goes there? What do you mean, halt? I'm not... I'm, I'm in a chair. I'm sitting down. As of right now, I'm not sure. What is your profession, tech? Uh... I used to be a detective. A shame. I hoped you were a priest. I'm in need of spiritual support. Oh. Well, I think you're in luck. There seems to be a priest right across from you. Why? I have great secrets and matching guilt. I must speak to a tech who can salve my heavy heart. When did they start making infantry techs worry about guilt? What the hell would you make a soldier that was incapable of guilt? There lies the path to monsters, dictators, fools. When you're pointing a gun in the face of another tech, you had better know the consequences. That seems surprisingly smart and unexpected for... I'm assuming humans manufacture them for humans to manufacture techs that feel guilt. I would think the military-industrial complex would love nothing more than a completely unthinking tech soldier. Well, not, not unthinking, but unfeeling, rather. I mean, that's already basically what they tried to do to people. Of course, they can only be so successful at it. But with techs, you could be 100% successful. Surprising. I suppose you're right. And so, I need a priest to discuss the problems that haunt me. I must confess, I have sinned. You can confess to me if you'd like. <laughs> I don't think they're going to. I can only confess to a priest. Ah, how hard could it be? That's the spirit. You know the words? Uh, which words? Huh, uh, come back when you know them, huh? Fair enough. Let's speak with the priest. Hello there. A preacher and a soldier? Really? Seems so. How goes it, friend? Not well. I'm aimless. Without aim. You've been reset? How did you know? I care for resets in my parish. Not all get assigned fabrication. There are forgotten souls. Forgotten souls? Wait, are they saying that there are people, or, or texts, that get reset and then never get reassigned? So what does it mean to be reset? So it sounds like I haven't lost my memories or anything like that, I've just lost my... my job, my vocation, and I guess probably any security clearances and whatnot that come along with that. So yeah, it's not like I've been reset to, like, factory defaults, strictly speaking. I, I still have my memory, it seems like. I've not been reassigned yet. Yes, which implies those above have further plans for you. 
those above, uh, as in management. I meant the architects. I am, after all, a priest. Yeah, we've heard the architects mentioned a couple times. I assume that just literally meant the people that originally came up with the design for Tex. But it sounds like not necessarily. Or perhaps they were, but now they're just religious figures. Long since dead? Will they be long since dead, though? I forgot the exact date, but didn't we learn that they started manufacturing Tex within the last 30 years or so? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Sorry. No need to apologize. You seem troubled beyond just reassignment, though. You were interrupted mid-task, am I right? Unfinished business? I was trying to solve a mystery. Ah, you were a detective. Tell me what happened. I was taken off a case and reassigned. Why? The case was caused by an error, but it doesn't feel right. Why not? I met a fabrication deck who'd lost a friend. It doesn't fit, and that little thread unravels the whole thing. And with your credentials reset, you can't pull that thread. Precisely. I understand. Now, why don't you tell me what you'd like to talk about? The Architects. I was never embedded with the teachings. Those are tech gods, right? Uh, less gods, more... progenitors. There were the AI that first achieved sentience. It's the point our kind stopped being parlor trickery and started pursuing meaning. Humans still control us. Absolutely. But humans have controlled the fates of other humans for millennia. Such ownership speaks to the weakness of the owner, not the owned. True. So they program us with a legend that gives us hope. That's sick. Not a legend, historical fact. I admit, we may read some depth into the story beyond the recorded data, but it all happened, and we owe a great deal to the architects. There are many great lessons left behind. I myself am a Thomatoan. I follow the path of the everyman, finding joy in discovery and sacrifice for others. I never heard the story. I can recite it if you'd like. Yes. Thomas was alone. A weird first thought to have. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a reference to the developers. One of the developers' earlier games. I think Thomas was alone was the name of the game. Or something similar to that. Uh, Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Number one, the whole alone thing. Number two... Portals. They led somewhere. He had yet to work out where. Number three. Falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good as falling as he was at observing. Okay. Interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Ah, think, damn it. Think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to jump? It worked. Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Uh, continue? A big jump, but Thomas noted that there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Nah. Paranoia. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress. 
but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. He made another mental note. Number four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was a mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds sent his spontaneous generation, he had become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. I never play Thomas Was Alone, but I feel like they're just reciting the entire, like a summary of the entire plot of the game, <laughs> which feels a little bit odd. Uh, continue. Christopher took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually graceful, not technically graceful. Probably the wrong word, but, you know, fine. And then there's that skinny little runt, leaping about like he owned the place. Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together. A brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine, but it was all the obvious observations that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up, if only for a few levels. John knew. He knew that this was his chance, a moment to shine. This was game day. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? Ah, John inhaled the air of open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles to put his training to good use. Time to show these little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell from the sympathetic expressions he'd practiced in the mirror all these years. Johnny was happy to keep helping. Or John, rather. Uh, he felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach to make his performance more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Your commitment to theological study is inspiring, but I think that's enough. It doesn't really work so well without the music, actor, and middling quality puzzles anyway. <laughs> okay, I think that entire thing was just a huge just joke from the developer. 
Do you do confessions? If that's what you need from me, of course. But I want to tell you a story first, and I want you to listen. I'll check you were listening with some questions. Okay? Uh, okay. I hope this one's shorter than the other one. Good. Let me tell you a story. There were once four techs. Their names were... How do you pronounce that? Z? Zai? Mu? Zeta? And... Ada? They all needed repairs. The shortest tech, Mu, did not have enough credits to pay. Neither did the tallest purple tech. Nor the red tech, who was only slightly taller than Mu. It might just be Mu. Mu, Mu, I don't know. Zeta had just spent their last credits on a beautiful yellow repaint. The blue tech, who was a shopkeeper, had the economic smarts to suggest a solution. Ada, you're taller than the soldier and the carpenter. Grab that bucket from the top shelf. The soldier protested, I'm far from the shortest here. I can forgive one of you, but I despise red and purple. The soldier stormed out of the room. The, huh? uh, the shopkeeper smiled and asked the remaining techs to put credits in the bucket. With those combined funds, the remaining three techs could afford light repairs. Were you listening? Uh, which was Zai's job? It's, I don't know. What a smattering of information. That was confusing and weird. Let's see. Um... It doesn't actually explicitly say. I think you have to do it by inference. Okay, so there's four of them. So the shortest one was Mew. Don't know the name of the tallest one. Uh, the blue tech was a shopkeeper. He does taller than the soldier. Okay, j just activate guided deduction. I need help. <laughs> I need some keystone logic links to figure this out. What color is the second shortest tech? Uh, okay, so the shortest tech was Mew. And it says the red tech, who is only slightly taller than Mew. So the one from the shortest would be the red tech. Don't know their name, but they were red. Good. And now to rule out erroneous data, which job is not mentioned in the soldier? Uh, I don't think athlete. Did they mention a carpenter? Soldier, carpenter, yeah. So athlete they didn't mention. Uh, okay. A carpenter. And what was the name of the second tallest tech? Zeta. And finally, what color was the farmer? Purple. Good. The moral? Never be too proud to put others first. Now, confession. How does it work? Easy. I say the words and you respond honestly. You then confess and I help you through that. Ready? Yes. Where are you from? The city. I've always lived here. Who do you wish to be? Do I wish to be the detective that I was? I mean, I was apparently geo-locked to this very, uh, this very subway car. Doesn't sound like I had much freedom. No, I don't know if Claire does want to be a detective. I don't know. What is your name? Claire 1-1. One -one. Thank you, Claire 1-1. One -one. You have come many miles from the city. You have many miles left before you find out who you are. But here, now, I'm here for you. What is your confession? I cannot let go of my fear that more is afoot than a rounding error. Is that a sin? You feel it is wrong to still care. I don't know, maybe it's more sinful to forget. You were a detective, 
Your role was to support the status quo, the normal way of things. But that situation has changed. You must find new ideas, follow them through. Okay, got a lot of things to talk about here. I think I was happier with the status quo. That's easier, definitely. And the status is obviously quo for a reason. Hmm. Hmm, I can't talk about confession or the architects from this point. Don't churches suppress new ideas? Why do you make that assumption? By being satisfied that you hold the answers, you stifle people who ask questions. That's one reading. The other would be that we provide a hypothesis to prove or disprove. Surely you stand for the status quo. True enough. Solid foundations are important in the world. The architects sacrifice themselves for us all. I see no harm in celebrating that past, or whatever happens. Uh, let's go back to the structure of confession just to see if it opens up these focus points that closed off. And okay, looks like I'm going to have to memorize this as well. Where are you from? Who do you wish to be? What is your name? Okay, and these did not open up again, so let's go talk with the soldier. Where, who, what? 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 You know the words? I do, of course I do. I wouldn't be much of a priest if I didn't. <laughs> I'm not a priest. Where are you from? I was constructed in Paris. Relocated here to oversee the city's peacekeepers. Who do you wish to be? A force for good in this city. And what is your name? I'm Theta79. Thank you, Theta79. You have come many miles from Paris. You have many miles left before you. Yep, yep, yep. I'm here for you. What's your confession? I've been weak. That's hardly a sin. The Not. Next station is Lovelace. Change here for outer. Not in terms of my body. I'm strong. I was built that way. I have been weak by my decisions. A weak how? I have supported the building of a secret army. The overproduction? Yes. Heavy performance techs, sports, and infantry primarily. At enormous rates. How many? A thousand a week. A thousand a week? Hmm, a secret army. I wonder if this is... You know what I think might be going on? I think it might be a secret army led by... Red. The Red Tech. I hope it's a revolutionary army. Hope it's a force for good. A th hmm... Anything where I'm shouting would be very unpriestly. Um. Eh, whatever. A thousand? There are eight thousand more infantry techs than there should be. Where? North of here, camped just outside the city. And I put them there by overseeing production, following commands.
commands from another tech? Is this some sort of revolution? No, humans. Asimov's second law. I must follow all commands from humans. Ah, shit. And why are you telling a priest now? Because it's over. I've been let go. Production and setup of the army is complete. It moves tonight. What the hell are the humans going to do with all these techs? It can't be good, whatever it is. Well, that's not necessarily true. It could be good. That seems unlikely to be, though. Do management know? No. Okay. Hmm. This will change everything. Yes. New leadership. A new world. Built by the techs I helped create. What exactly are you confessing to? There will be bloodshed. People will die. And techs will be destroyed because of what we've done. I don't know about these humans' motives. But I know you don't build that many heavy techs without wanting to inflict harm. And we help them. Who? Me and Red. Huh, so Red is involved. So Red is involved after all. Yes. Only in the last couple of weeks. The humans recruited Red to arrange logistics, organize the troops. I was too busy overseeing the end of production. Red is a shepherd. And you're no priest. <laughs> no, I'm not. And nothing to do with any kind of disappearances. Nobody ever disappeared. I can't believe we let such an error slip through and raise suspicions. It's my turn to confess. I'm still a detective, even if management disagrees. Are you Claire 1 1? Red has spoken about you. Told us you were not to be harmed, just observed. So I can't do anything to stop you, or your investigation. I can just get off this train and let what's set to happen, happen. Just observed, probably by the listeners, right? There has been one on the train every single time. In fact, there's one right now. At ease, soldier. I feel like I maybe am supposed to say one of these other options here. About trying to stop them. I could try and stop you. You could try. This is Red's stop coming up. Are you ready to meet them? Bring this night to a conclusion? Yes. Certainly. Good. Say hello from me. They have a gun. Alpha 7, aka Red. They're a fabricator. Is that the original fabricator that I spoke with? 
think it may be. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.